this particular project on stimuli responsive materials, we envision that these are the right kind of materials that will provide a means to power uh, really small robots in the future. Actuating materials are like simple, compact materials that can move by itself. So we want to use this material to replace uh, traditional actuators so that we can use it in a small space in a micro robots. The material itself is very uh, easily integrable with um, other complex uh, structures uh, because the material is made by um, a simple process which is called electrodeposition. We deposit the active material on a passive material. So only the active material will respond to light or electricity. So whenever we apply a stimulation, for example, illuminating it, the active material will contract. And the passive materials, of course, it stay the same. So it will bend, it will curl. But the deformation is limited to some simple motion modes such as bending. But we know that in the real application, we want our robotics to demonstrate more, more complex deformations. We can also deposit the materials at certain places so that it can be used as a linear actuator, it's not only bending, not only curling. And this material system that we have developed is very efficient uh, in terms of uh, the power density that it can provide. So it depends on how thick or how uh, how we deposit the materials, like increasing the density or increasing the, the, the thickness of choosing different materials. It can uh, not only bending, it can also curl. So we have only one material, for example, but we can get that material to actuate under different stimuli, including light, including electrochemical voltages, and also maybe humidity changes or heat changes. We think that there are a lot of opportunities where uh, small robots will be useful. In fact, it's very important because for such small robots, you can no longer use the traditional means like a motor, electric motor. So therefore, uh, stimuli responsive materials, which are compact materials that can actuate by themselves, are very important.